Hello guys, have you ever seen a person walking on surface of water? How cool it is. But if you have seen them, it is really, really not water. It could have been some other liquid. But on water, this person or any person could have never traveled. But if you just imagine, you would have definitely sinked. Because the density of the man is actually greater than the density of water. At you can actually see some small creatures walking on the surface of water, like mosquitoes, like cricket. They actually walk on the surface of water. So when you see them very closely, so they don't wet their body when they are on the water surface. In fact, you can actually see some small dimples on the surface of water. So that might be the curved part of the water surface which helps to balance the insect's weight. But we have not seen any mosquito drowning. Maybe not or maybe so. That is not part of our experience yet. We can give a small experiment where we can actually take a shaving blade and gently drop on the surface of water. It would actually float on the surface of water if you drop it gently. But if you give a small push to it, it sinks. If it is sinking, definitely its density is greater than the density of water. But yet, it is able to float on the surface of water, but not inside the water. So the surface of water is having some additional property when compared to the entire water liquid. So this additional property of the surface for a liquid is what we call it as surface tension. So the surface tension is due to the stretched elastic membrane of the water or any liquid. So the liquid surface is going to behave like a stretched elastic membrane. So when a small tiny objects are actually placed on this membrane, so the weight of this liquid is actually balanced by the force created by this property called surface tension. Now, let us take one container, a container here. A container filled with liquid. The surface which is exposed to the air is what we call it as free surface. So that free surface is what we have it here. And that, let's in the free surface draw an imaginary line. So that imaginary line has some few water molecules or liquid molecules on it. So one side of the molecules are pulled by the other liquid molecules with the force F. The other side is also pulled by the other side liquid molecules with the same force F. In fact, the total force is zero. If the length of that imaginary line is L, then the force on one side per unit length of that imaginary line is actually what we call it as surface tension. If the length of the imaginary line increases, then the force also increases. So force proportional to the length of the imaginary line, then F is equal to some constant S into L. That constant S is actually equal to F by L is also called surface tension. It's a property of the liquid which is measured by this quantity called surface tension equal to force per unit length. This force is nothing but the intermolecular forces of the liquid, which we also call it as cohesive forces. So the surface tension is only because of intermolecular cohesive forces. So this force helps the tiny objects to float on its surface. But wait a minute, this force is actually directed tangential to the surface parallel to the surface, which is horizontal. How could this tangential force balance the weight of the small objects which acts vertically down? Okay, this might be because the surface of the water actually creates one small dimple. That small dimple actually makes the curved part of the water in such a way that the tangential force is no longer horizontal then a component of this tangential force around the body 
because of the water or because of the liquid is going to balance the weight of the body. So that means if small objects have to float on the water, definitely there should be some small dimple created. That small curved part is going to bend the surface of the water in such a way that the water's tangential force or the surface tension force it knows no longer horizontal but it is inclined and the component in the vertical direction of that force is going to balance the weight of the body. So this is what happens when small tiny objects actually float and this surface tension force is extremely small. That's the reason why only some small objects whose weight is very small able to float. Objects like very big and very heavy don't really get balanced. Even for the tiny objects, if you push the tiny objects deep into the water or below the surface, they do sink. That means they are not floating because of buoyancy, but they are floating because of an additional property because of the surface of the liquid. Okay, this is what we call it as surface tension, which is definitely because of the elastic nature of the liquid surface.